So this is what school's like. Okay, I feel stupid. Uh, April's got to learn the T-phones are for emergencies only. April O'Neil? Ah, uh, sewer bunnies. Leo, I think this does count as an a emergency. I know. <laughs> All right, guys, let's put old Mother Hubbard back in her cupboard. Uh... Dude, it literally hurts to listen to you sometimes. No problems. I love this place. It smells like learning and puberty. So, what do you need help with? My computer science project. Just need you to check the code to make sure I haven't missed anything. Oh, you don't know how lucky you are to be in school, April. Surrounded by true intellectuals, scholars after my own heart, resplendent in gorgeous purple satin jackets. Wait! What? Purple satin jackets? The shimmering sheen, the exquisite violet hue, the silkiness of the fabric, it has everything I love, and even things I didn't know I loved yet. Johnny, if you drool in here, something's gonna short circuit. They must be the kings and queens of high school. The Purple Dragons Tech Club? Yeah, if by kings and queens you mean stuck-up jerks who think they're smarter than everyone else. Oh, that's what I was hoping you'd say! This is it, April. A new start. Just pretend you're a normal girl. Don't talk about alien robots or mutant dads and... Don't even think about turtles. No! Uh. Oh. Are you serious? Nice job stomping my puck like that. You got some moves, right? Um, you could start with sorry. Sorry you got in the way. What were you doing blocking the hallway like that anyway? Uh, blocking the... Exactly who do you think you are? You signed up for extra cred, right? Well, rejoice, because I'm the guy you're going to tutor. Great. Look, if I don't pass trade, they'll kick me off the hockey team. Nobody else wants to tutor me. They're all intimidated by my supreme awesomeness. Uh, so this is you asking me for help? Charming. <sighs> Fine, meet me at the park at seven. Don't be late. It's a date then, nice. Yes! Oh! Uh, so, what's your name, anyway? Casey Jones. Taylor Martin. <laughs> April Dale! So glad you came. Ooh, lizard boy. Sit! We were all just talking about the most amazing new game, Hippo Crush. So fun! Have you played it yet? Uh, I've been meaning to download it. How are we gonna be besties if you don't have the game? Got it! Huh? Oh, okay! Johnny says no, no, no. What the? Johnny says no, no, no. Johnny says no, Would no, no. Would you excuse no. me says, no, a no, second? No. Johnny says... You are conversing with Donatello. What is a Donny blocker? I put it on your phone so you wouldn't get hacked or download anything with malware because I know how much you're into fantasy. You only think Donny's blocking his cable from being cool. Hello, I'm Ms. Campbell from the Worldwide Genome Project. Are you April O'Neil? Uh, yes. I'm here to present your DNA test results. Come with me.
Wow. I figured you guys were just going to send printouts. No. We don't send printouts. Come with me. Uh, where exactly? We're going to a place where I will present your DNA test results. Come with me. Uh, what did you say your name was again? I'm Miss Campbell from the Worldwide Genome Project. I'm here to present your DNA test results. Right. I gotta go. Come with me. Here is your nutrient mound. Dismissed. <laughs> well, this seems like it could backfire. Come on, April, give him a chance. He's perfect, and it's great cover. <laughs> no hijinks in my life. <laughs> This'll do. Yo, if there's one thing Casey Jones has, it's Cracker Jack Tiny. Casey, run! What, so you get all the fun? I got him! You go! No! I got him! You go! Cross checking! Two minutes! Hi, Sticky! It ain't a penalty if they deserve it, right? Yeah, <laughs> you got some rink rage, Red. You should see me play ping pong. So, you owe these guys money or something? Greetings, tech enthusiasts. I'd like to introduce you to the newest member of your club. Wait for it, here he comes. It's me. Uh-huh. April, that's your name, right? You've known me since kindergarten, Kendra. Uh-huh. Who's this guy and why does he look like mold? <sighs> Jeremy, Jason, Kendra, this is my friend Donna. Othello, Von Ryan, maker, coder, artisan. I am ready to join your esteemed collective. And with regard to purple jackets, I am a medium. Ow! Sorry, Von Ryan, but to join this group, you gotta bring something to the table. So, bye-bye. Prepare to be Von Ryan. Wow! It's the granddaddy of all multi-tools! Okay, it's not bad. What else you got? Come on. You don't have to impress these fools. That's what people say when they don't have anything impressive. Like this. Casey Jones finally makes it to class. What a surprise. Ready for the big trig exam? Trig exam? Oh, yeah. I was up all night studying. Really? Did your homework punch you in the face? I had a, a late night hockey practice. Isn't the rink closed after dark ever since that mysterious fight broke out there a few weeks back? So how exactly did you get those bruises, Casey? Hmm? What are you, Irma, my interrogator? I saw something crazy last night. As in, mutant crazy. Come on, April. We've got our exam, and I will not be late this time. Ah! I hate poofing. Wait a second, this is April's school. She's the one in trouble. We gotta go high school stealth. Yeah! Okay, let's split up and find April. Then... Oh, he's so cute. Take a picture. Here, take a picture. <laughs> that is cute. April, it's your BFF Taylor. I just want to hang. He's gonna make.
make us all disappear permanently. Ah! Get her. Casey? Casey? Casey, answer me! Something's wrong, Mikey. What are we gonna do? I know exactly what to do. We can use our phones to triangulate the position of Casey's T-phone by bouncing the locator signal off the satellite. That's actually a good idea. It's like we're in some kind of alternate universe or something. You can also track pizza delivery guys that way. Booyah, kasha. Enjoy your sloppy Joseph. Baron Jackson, we have a code red. Uh, bup, bup, bup. I'm dealing with a situation, O'Neill. Dale, pick up that napkin. It's not mine. Uh, Recycling! <laughs> Axum, you promised not to use your yokai powers in front of people. But it makes things so much more efficient. Why shouldn't I? Because of this letter I found in your mailbox. Ah, my mailbox. What is a mailbox? The Lunch Lady Association is honored to declare Barry Draxum Lunch Person of the Month for his excellence in lunch roomery. And the Superintendent of Lunch Rooms, Vivian Sobworth, is coming today to present your award. This is marvelous. It's about time the human worms show the great Baron Draxum the respect he commands. Oh, no, this is bad. Do you want to blow your cover? Because that's what's going to happen if Sopworth sees how you run things. What is wrong with how I run things? I find this warm, moist ecosystem really keeps the baloney soft. Uh... Oh, boy. Thank you, Splinter. Everyone has their lab partners. No, I'm a partnerless freak. Miss O'Neill, this is science. We leave emotions at the door. You can partner with our new student. Please be normal. Please be normal. Please be normal. Aloha! It means both hello and goodbye. This time I'm using it as hello. I'm Sunita. Sorry, was that weird? No, I've seen weird and that is not it. I'm April. Open your books to page 143, and please, let's be adults about these gruesome photos of human anatomy. Cool. Cool. Oops, mm. you've got a little googly schmoots on you. <gasps> Is everything okay? Yep, all normal here. Nice boots, by the way. Hey, what's your number? We should hang out sometime. Yes, we should. That'd be totally normal. I mean, totally cool. So, yeah, let's exchange numbers. April O'Neil. You're doing great. No, I'm not. Whoa! Oh. Nice landing, April. Yeah, not everybody can be as cool on the ice as Casey Jones. I was practically born in the ring. My old man was on a pro hockey team. I ever tell you that? 
like 50 times a week. Honestly, April, I have no idea what you see in that guy. Purple dragons? Ha! <laughs> you losers just got your butts kicked. Now you're coming to my house? Um, Casey, did you happen to notice these guys are glowing? the city and you were my next stop now what's this about the superintendent checking up on Draxum? O'Neill uh. what is the status Draxum? why was there an oosquito in your kitchen well I don't know okay I was going to turn that Dale kid into a cantaloupe mutant his head come on it looks just like one because you couldn't give up your mystic stuff, there's now a mutant inside that locker! I got you a swank apartment and this sweet job, and you're risking it all to play with Oosquitos! Are you trying to get thrown in the Hidden City prison, huh? No. Stop the mystic stuff. You almost blew your cover again. This it can't be real. I must be dreaming. I just have to wake up. That's it. Wake up! <laughs> wake up, wake up! No! Still here? Still going to eat you, my salty, salty friend. <laughs> what am I gonna do? <gasps> Sloppy Joseph! You're about to get served! Come and get it, lunch meat! your award, Draxum! As you wish, Your Excellency. Oh. Don't worry, Barry. We've all had to deal with an occasional meat goblin. Just last week, one of my chalupas took out the entire debate team. The point is, you're one of us now. And what happens in the lunchroom stays in the lunchroom. You lucked out this time, Barry. From now on, no more mystic stuff. Promise me!
me that. I promise on my fish stick statue. Okay. Hungry, buddy? Yes, you are. Hmm. We better not overdo it. <laughs> 